Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse. What is going on, Everybody Sports Slab Train? Welcome back today, guys, to the channel for another episode of Top 10 Drifts on this Friday, man. Now, first and foremost, huge thank you to everybody coming out for today, man. Last episode cleared about a hundred thousand views, which is still crazy numbers for a series this old. So huge thank you to everybody for doing that. That last clip, I don't know if you noticed the man two-wheeled on the jump drift. Gizmo also gets some air in his NASCAR. I've never seen someone hold out a slide before on a corner and then transition into a wheelie, man. We had some pretty eventful clips come in. I will tell you that this week. It was a very tough week to judge as well, too. So I'm gonna be trying something out a little bit different for today. And I'm gonna leave you guys a poll at the end of the video to say whether or not you guys agreed or disagreed with the top 10 lineup. Now, of course, if you guys do not agree, let me know in the comments where you would have placed these clips in order. It's a hard thing to do, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. We had so many clips. I had to backtrack clips. It was crazy. Now for our IRL clip of the day, Pola 3 Fox and Emil L throwing down some slides here in a frozen lake out in Norway, man. This is absolutely crazy stuff to see. And the speed that this man is throwing in is very, very sketchy on a frozen pond, man. I mean, I don't know about you, but me personally, I'd be scared of dropping in the lake. Now, he is driving an E46 with a welded diff. And I will say, he threw in a pretty aggressive reverse entry in the snow, man. Huge respect for sending that in. Big thank you. Definitely refreshing, though. See some frozen lake slides, man. Little Blizzard Mountain IRL status. I like it. Sir Waffle sliding in at number 10 with some Beam NG with his 6x6. It's a pink one nonetheless, but he definitely earns my respect, man. This guy is holding out fourth gear, drops it down to third, and you're going to see the back end of the tailgate start to shake. I can only imagine the grip and the wear and tear from that 6x6 slide, man. Absolutely crazy stuff. Number 9 this week, we have Vivek and Danatica Dekel. Oh my, that was terrible. I'm sorry. They're here on a set of Corsa, throwing down some tandems on Ebisu Toge, SDC, S14, with a 2J swap into this thing, and they're hauling ass. Now, I definitely love this clip for the use of angles that they did. However, though, I would have loved to see them push it a little bit more. You can see them, you know, slowly let off on some of these transitions just to, you know, ensure that they're not going to make contact. I want to see a few door taps next time, man, but I'm just kidding, though. I love the clip. Tandems all day on a set -o. Number eight this week, MR258 with a huge entry here on Spa. Now this is something that we haven't really seen too much. I mean, I haven't really seen any clips on Spa for quite some time, so I thought this was nice with the creativity of the replay angles. But we're gonna see a huge flick to get this transition back on the uphill. Now, if you guys have ever ran this section before, it is not as easy as it looks. You have so many things to fight with on that uphill battle. Definitely enjoyed that clip. Number seven, Tendo, an absolute huge reverse entry here on Road Atlanta. He's driving his S14, and he's gonna aggressively throw this in after an overtake on that outside. I really love this clip, just simply because, man, no regrets on this run whatsoever. He drops a tire on the grass there. He's gonna drop another tire on this reverse entry coming in, but the man was hauling with some speed. You just don't see speed like that anymore, man. I don't know if it's just me or not, but you just don't see it. Number six this week, Sacco Gaming with a triple screen rig setup. Now, I didn't really pick this clip because of the drifting. He is killing it on this track, no doubt about it. It's only himself out here for a solo run, but I really appreciated the rig that he is driving on. Now, if you look at it, I can't really tell exactly what wheel he is running, so if you guys can let me know down in the comment section, I'd be appreciative of that. But he has the handbrake. It's a custom handbrake. It's the same one that I'm using, so he's wired that up. He's got the pedal cam down below, handbrake cam, steering wheel cam. He's got his iPad on the right for the speedo and the tack. He's also got his button box on the left and to top it all off, this man is running triple screen setup here. I mean, this is a dream setup for sure. This is something that I'm definitely striving to get to with the triple screens, you know, the full rig and such like that. So I'm definitely excited to, you know, innovate the rig for 2017 and really make the triple screen a reality. It is tough though with my setup. We're going to talk about that later. It's not the video to do so. Huge respect to Sacco Gaming for one hell of a run and uh, showcasing 
crazy damn intricate rig, man. Big thank you for that. Number five this week, Datafy with another wheel cam entry coming in. So big thank you for sending these wheel cams. It really does, you know, add some creativity to the clip and also really does, you know, add your own flavor to this. And I love to see other people's rigs as well, too. I will say, though, this man is throwing this car around, man. This is actually on the Bay Gold reverse section here. He's driving the XR GT Turbo and, uh... He's killing it, man. He's absolutely killing it. He's got the handbrake on the right-hand side, which is a flight stick. I've used a flight stick for many years. I love it. There's nothing wrong with the flight sticks whatsoever. And also, it's a pretty good alternative to, you know, a $110 Fanatic handbrake. So if you guys are in the market for a handbrake, don't sleep on the flight stick, man. Number four, Wet Fingers, I'm Stoner, Sicardo, and AKA Fuminen. 98 and it's a pretty damn tricky Dave at the very end there. I see four eight sixes ripping up Sportslink Yamanashi right now. These guys are absolutely killing it. You guys have seen these people in top 10 many times and they are no stranger on the top five list. I will say though for a grouping of eight sixes on this track this is a very clean lineup. We're even going to get some in-car cockpit footage from these guys. Now, we're going to be diving into the lead car on that run. And I love the overlay with the wheel cam. Here we have another wheel cam for today. I'm, I'm really seeing wheel cams in the future, man. I think, you know, we're going to have a full episode dedicated to wheel cams if this keeps happening. Because you guys are getting better and better with the clips. And, I mean, even the editing purposes on this. I mean, the guy cut out all the excess on here just to showcase the wheel we have the logitech g920 if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong though i could be wrong i know logitech's got that slant for some reason you can kind of see it right there i actually got to drive the logitech g920 in texas for the forza fuel event and it just it was it was very weird with the slant is all i'm saying all i know though that was a hell of a run number three this week for the podium we have a whole squad coming in man we have parker sr20 easy m Elite, Jeffrey, Just Slam It, Drifter, and Extreme Tricks. Now it does say here in the email that they were backed by UK Team GBH Motorsport, Slow Low Horsepower Drifters, and uh, they have the full team paints rocking on this clip, and I really enjoyed this. They're getting some suicide tandems around the Byron Bay tandem section, man. I absolutely love this clip. We got teams, man. We got crews coming in here. Number two, T. Now this clip, man, this clip was crazy. And I really wanted to throw this in, the, you know, the number one for today. But I just, I couldn't do it because it wasn't as much of a drift clip as I wanted it to be. However, this man kills it. He drops in in front of a pack of four drivers on the road, holds it down, and he even had a little bit of a flare on that with a little slide at the end, man. I absolutely love that. But there has to be one, man. D1SL, C, P, Tick, and D1SL, Adrian. And uh, these guys are ripping down right now. Sonoma Raceway in the tandem. If you guys did not know, they both were inches from the wall on that initiation. This is probably one of the cleanest Forza 6 runs that I've seen in a very long time. And we have Ryan Turk on the follow. Absolutely love that paint job right there. Obviously, I'm a little biased. I went to Seattle to reveal the day of thing. Now, as I said, though, these guys were just, they're so all-out aggressive. I had to give them the number one here on Forza Motorsport 6. We're going to get one more look just to see how close they actually came. I mean, they both scraped it. Unbelievable. Did you guys agree with the top 10 list? Remember, it's not an easy thing to do, man. Personally, in my books, everybody came away with a number one. But I got to add on the one to 10, though, man. I got to do it. I'm going to leave you guys here with an outro from Orlando Edits. There was a lot of people to make this video happen. I will leave the full link down below. But these guys killed it, man. Orlando Edits always comes through with some sick editing, and he has done that once again. Full link down below. Subscribe to him if you have not already. If you guys are wondering, Slap, how do I get into top 10 drifts? It's pretty damn simple, man. There's going to be a template down in the description box for you guys to fill out. Send in your clip through email. Make sure you guys upload your clip on YouTube, either public or unlisted. If it's private, I can't get the clip. And I actually came across quite a few clips this week that were actually private. And I just, I can't use them, right? So I definitely do apologize for that. But there's nothing I can do at that point in time. Ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you once again for coming around for another episode of Top 10 Drips of the Week. If you did enjoy it and you're still here, don't forget to slap that like button. I definitely do appreciate the support. We broke 100,000 views last week, 
Let's see if we can do it again. Shibuta Slab Train, I'm out. Peace. Got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do?